twists. He jumps around. And he's faster than Grease Lightning. And now Judson Lipoli is the hottest download on the internet with this crazy routine. The evolution of dance is the last 50 years of popular dances all in one six minute routine. You know, there are certain people in this world who, if you see them in an event, things like that, you know exactly who they are. And then there are other people that people just literally will be like, well, what have you done? And now I didn't actually do it. I didn't, it wasn't something of a labor that caused that, but I at least always for the rest of my life will be able to say that I was the first YouTube viral video. And that carries some weight along with it uh, and a level of credibility that maybe didn't exist because now viral videos have become normalized to the point where people are impressed by that. Judson's evolution of dance has been viewed more than 20 million times in just two months. The best thing that YouTube did at the time is they had an incredibly easy user interface. When somebody approached me and asked me to put the video up onto my MySpace page, it was a group of high school students who want, I had taught them a small version of the dance and they wanted to do the whole thing. And I said, sure, how do you do that? And they said, we don't know. I said, okay. And YouTube had the easiest, cleanest, click here, pick file, upload, copy and paste. A motivational speaker from Cleveland, he came up with the routine to keep his audience entertained. The barrier to fame is so much lower than it used to be. It used to be in order to get famous, you had to do something extraordinary. You had to be in a huge hit movie. You had to write a great book. Whereas now you can become famous, I don't want to say easily, but a lot easier than it used to be. And people like to have some sort of recognition and connection. <laughs> we decided to take Judson to the biggest stage we could find, Times Square in New York City, where we showed each other some of our best dance moves. Back. You want to give him a little snarl? And it didn't take long before he was recognized. I bet you this isn't on your tour. And so at the time, it was really surreal because there were certain places that I could go where I was actually known as the person who did that dance uh, within a smaller community. Uh, of speakers and performers in the college market, which is where I was predominantly working at the time. And then to see that transition to a random bus of people in New York, you know, at that time in New York City, and I was just like, oh, no way, I can't believe somebody else knows of this who didn't see it live. People always ask me the question, they say, how do you think your video would do if it came out today? I don't know how it would do. What I do know is the longevity of it would be but a fraction of how long the first one was because there was nothing else going on at that time. So I was really fortunate that there was nothing else to take the attention away, whereas a viral video today lasts a week, maybe, tops. If you try to reverse engineer it, if you try to ask, okay, what makes a video really go viral? I think one of the biggest factors is authenticity, that somebody's not trying to do something that isn't in line with who they are. One of the reasons that cat and dog videos are so popular is because they're not acting. You know, nobody can make a dog or a cat do all the crazy things that they do. They're just authentic. I'll always get to be that person that had the first YouTube viral video that is, it's always gonna, they're never gonna be able to take that away from me.